Oh God, what is even happening right now? Oh. Oh no. Oh God. Hey, people ask what we do over at SFM. Right here. stand here behind you on the ground we got a 350 that's pretty fresh um, turbo cam in it it's just a short block though so we got to tear the heads off this motor um, get everything clean and then get the heads on that motor and back in the car but we got to pull the pan back off that motor I have a drag pan somewhere I got to get the heads off this thing so I can put them on that motor moral of the story so I'm gonna share this with you. Not exciting, but a lot of people like to watch tear down and reassemble. So it did have some really decent parts in it. The more I take it apart, the more I see it's got. They're heavy stainless rockers, but they're really nice. Uh, comp cams, full roller, stainless rockers. It's got all ARP hardware. I don't know what brand these push rods are, but it has hardened aftermarket longer push rods in it. Uh, Elder Brock heads, ARP head bolts, ARP uh, valve cover bolts, pan bolts, everything. But anyways, I'm gonna finish tearing this down. You guys don't have one of these, <laughs> even the quarter drive impacts in the shop with the three eighths friggin' adapter on it so you can put sockets on it and pull stuff apart like this. Kill them. You guys ready to see what's in there? Cool. Four valve relief flat tops. Dang, low compression turd. That's why it ran so good. The heads are in great shape. Dang, does they have to beat these head gaskets on with a socket? Smokes. Yeah. Don't 
mind if I save those? Still good. That's a small bore. It's weird. I'm never going to have another set of those gaskets. 307 and 283 are the only ones I think that use that. Ooh, this one's stuck. Traces. Ooh. Ugly stuff happened on this side. Detonation, maybe? Look at that. Got pop marks. That's fine. Ooh, down here too. Maybe something bounced around in this motor a little bit. 30 over. So this is a 292. I'll have to look these pistons up. They might be they might be forged pistons. If that's the case, they're speed pros. Got that little lightning bolt thing on them. Ooh, that's all summit stuff. I can look it right up. Yeah, this one's good too. Cool. Always save and reuse MLS gaskets. I don't care what anybody tells you. <laughs> Ships are expensive. They're still good. Ooh! Yeah, I found the, the matching dingers over here in the pistons. That's weird. Never had any spark plugs to match that. Wonder if that was previous to me owning it. Boy, that's ugly. There's more in that one. And more in that one. Holy cow. Ugh. Not looking good. Oil starvation. 100%. See the bearing material there is missing. Stuck to the crank. Anyways, we can get that off of there. Emery cloth, wire wheel, we could buzz that off there, but the thrust on the crank is pretty chewed up, so I don't think it's any good. Probably just stuff another 283 crank in this and it's totally fine. But it looks like it has some scat 5.7 rods. Had decent rods and this crankshaft is balanced and 283s I think all have steel cranks. I don't think they had a cast crank option. So that's kind of neat. But this one's broke. <laughs> They're pullers at the house because I just did the one on the Jeep. <clears throat> it sucks having your stuff in two spots, but it's nice to be able to get away from it at the same time. Anyways, uh, that's it for this. It'll be another day, probably, on this video, too. It'll be that one going on the stand after everything's clean. Put everything on that motor, and then we'll get it ready to go in there. Another two hours of messing with it, and then we can put the motor back in the car. And then a day or two of putting stuff back on it, and then we'll be good to go. And we'll see you when we start doing that.
another way.